Hey kids, Mr. Victor here. I have a new book for you today. With permission from Scholastic, this is Beatrice Doesn't Want To by Laura Numero. Be good listeners, okay? Beatrice didn't like books. She didn't even like to read. More than that, she hated going to the library. I don't agree with Beatrice. Libraries are cool. But that's where Henry, her brother, had to take her three afternoons in a row. Henry had to look after Beatrice. He also had to write, write a report on dinosaurs. Ooh, dinosaurs are cool too. Why don't you get some books from the shelf? Henry suggested when they got to the library. I don't want to, Beatrice said. But look at how many books there are, Henry said. I don't want to, Beatrice repeated. Well, then what do you want to do? I want to watch you. But I have to work, Henry said. I'll watch, said Beatrice. I give up, said Henry, and he worked on his report, and Beatrice watched, and Henry tried not to notice her. The second day, Beatrice didn't want to go back to the library. But you have to, said Henry. But I don't want to, Beatrice replied. But I have to work, said Henry. When they got there, Beatrice saw a big comfy chair. I'll just sit here, she, she decided. Okay, but don't move until I'm finished, said Henry. And Henry began to work on his report. All of a sudden, he felt someone tapping on his shoulder. He turned around, and there's Beatrice. I'm bored, she said. I give up, said Henry. Do you guys bother your brother and sister when they're doing their homework? I hope not. On the third day, Beatrice followed Henry around while he looked more, for more books. Can I hold some? Beatrice asked. And Henry gave her some books to hold. They're too heavy, Beatrice wailed. I really do give up, said Henry. You're driving me crazy. Please, Beatrice, I've got to get this report done. It's due tomorrow. How about a drink of water first, said Beatrice. They went down the hall to look for some water. Suddenly Henry saw a poster. This is it, he thought. Come on, said Henry. I don't want to, answered Beatrice. Well, too bad, shouted Henry. See the poster there? It says the librarian is going to read a special story to the kids. Before Beatrice knew it, she was in a room full of other children. Henry walked out just as she started to say, I don't want. Beatrice sat down to wait for Henry. Hello, my name is Wanda, said the girl in the next chair. This is the second time I've heard this story. Big deal, said Beatrice. Albert Mouse lived in a brand new house, the librarian began to read, and she held the book up so everyone could see the pictures. Beatrice glared out the window. Do you see the picture of me showing the librarian the picture of the books to the kids?
Albert Mouse also had new roller skates, the librarian continued. Beatrice loved to roller skate. She looked at the librarian. But Albert's mother wasn't too thrilled when he skated through the house, the librarian read. The boys and girls laughed. Beatrice smiled. She remembered the time she had tried roller skating in her own house. Then Beatrice laughed, and she listened to the whole story. When the story was over, Beatrice went up to the librarian. May I see the book, please? she asked. Of course, said the librarian. Beatrice sat down and looked at each picture over and over. Suddenly, she felt someone tapping her shoulder. Time to go, Henry whispered. Beatrice kept looking at the pictures. Henry stuck Beatrice's hat on her head. We have to go home now, he said. Beatrice ignored him. Come on, Beatrice, Henry said. Now Beatrice doesn't want to leave the library. I don't want to, said Beatrice. That's the end of the book. I'll have another story for you tomorrow, kids, so until then... Eat all of the food on your plate later, drink lots of water, wash your hands, and be good listeners to your parents. See you tomorrow.